In this video, I'll be going through the cutaway material and how to use it. So, to start off, go up to Edit, Add Geometry, and Add Cube, or press Control and 1 on the keyboard. Now, in the Geometry view, which you can get up by pressing O on the keyboard, my cube's already selected, so I'm going to press the Move tool. So now I want to rescale and reposition my cube. And how the cutaway material works is that anything within the geometry that you've applied the material to will then be cut away. So I want to position this over the, in this case, Lego truck, covering the part that I want to be cut away. So I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do is go up to the materials window, type in cutaway, and you'll see there's seven different options. Now these are options that you can change once you've applied the material. So what I'm going to go for is this solid cross section here. And you can see the difference is made in the real time view. You can still see the cube and readjust the cube in the geometry view so it's worth bearing that in mind if you want to make any adjustments. And if I double click on the cube in the scene tree, that will bring up the options. So here you can change the different cap style. If you wanted to have no caps, inherent caps, uh, you can change the color. You can have it as a material, change that to say plastic and change the color of the diffuse to be the yellow I see here. You can also exclude specific parts of the model. So if you come to this plus sign here, you can either select the part from this window or you can select straight on the real-time viewer, straight on the model, and it will highlight that for you. Just press OK. And now that part will be excluded from the cutaway. You can add as many of these as you want as well. So if I add this part here, see that will appear again. And that's it. That's the cutaway material. So I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, just leave a comment under the video. I'll try and get back to them.